How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle, and today we're going to be taking a look at Nissan's Chow Mein Teriyaki Beef Flavor. This is one of those, uh, they started uh, selling noodles in these bigger, wider bowls. I guess, you know, this is about the size of a frozen dinner, make it feel more like a meal. Last time we talked about uh, Nissan's super uh, meal, uh, essentially a cup of noodles that was much bigger than your average cup of noodles. But this is the wider plate format, and I know that Maruchan, I I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, uh, but they do the yakisoba, and again, don't know how to pronounce the name, uh, but they also do a meal about this big, and I've seen a few places do it, so this is the first of those. Uh, but also, uh, this is not ramen. This is uh, chow mein, so that changes things up. I'm obviously a huge fan of ramen, and I'm going through and looking at all these different uh, different ways that it's served. Uh, but this is chow mein. It's different, but it's still noodles, and I do really like noodles, so that will still be fun. Uh, but anyway, let's switch to the close-up camera. I'll unbox this, we'll take a look at the directions and see what all's inside. Then I'll cook it and we'll do a little bit of a uh, quick taste test there. So without further ado, let's switch to the close-up camera. All right, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at Nissan's Chow Mein. We'll go ahead and bring it close to the camera. We can see the packaging, it's got a plastic wrapper around it with what appears to be a dragon behind the bowl. That's pretty cool. Uh, Nissan Chow Mein Teriyaki Beef Flavor with other natural flavors. A savory sauce packet inside and they always have to do serving suggestion aka it doesn't really come with this nice bowl. Uh, net weight 4 ounces. That's, that's uh, 113 grams chow mein noodles flip it to the back we can see a little bit of text distortion as it's pulled over the uh, the bowl and there's the side of the bowl and um, we get that palm oil thing from last time 510 calories so eh, quite a bit there but uh, what we're interested in is the microwave directions open lid to dotted line, I guess we'll see that when we open it up. Take out sauce packet and set aside. Add room temperature water to the fill line. Okay. Uh, microwave center for five minutes on high. Let's stand for one minute so you don't burn your tongue. And there's that little microwave symbol with the five on it. Uh, remove lid. So this is one you cook with the lid kind of still attached but set over it. Empty sauce packet into noodles because we took it out earlier. Um, stir and enjoy. Some water in the container after cooking is desirable. So yeah, I think uh, chow mein, there's not usually too much broth with that, right? I, I don't know. Uh, but ramen there normally is. So I, I kind of have a feeling this will be a very ramen-like chow mein, you know? Uh, we got a warning on the side. Uh, product and tray will be hot. So yeah, don't burn yourself and don't eat it if someone tore it open. No added MSGs. Alright, I don't have a knife on me right now, so let me see if I can tear this open with my bare hands. Let's see. There we go. And there we are. Alright, so there's your package. Let's throw that off to the side and really nice they printed the instructions on the top so if you rip that off without looking you still get the instructions so let's open it and see how easy okay yeah it's sticking a uh, resistant a little bit but not that bad I know sometimes you try to open stuff like this and it doesn't want to open and it is a pretty good seal you know, not going to break open on you, but I'm not having any real problems with it. So let's pull that back, try to get it even with the dotted line. 
and other side just a little bit more there we go and there's the sauce packet now this isn't like those instant noodles where it's a dust this is legitimately a sauce so yeah that's cool all gooey there and it's got a little preparation so you can tear it all right let's put that aside and well, we all came here for the noodles that's that's a pretty good block and the fill line is actually a little lower than the noodle level see the, the fill lines written back here that's where the the plastic changes and you can see it through the uh, package there so these probably less swelling and expanding than ramen got a lot of this goo or this is just the glue around the edges that it was held down with uh, but anyway I'm gonna fill the water to the fill line I'm gonna cook it for five minutes I'm going to let it sit for one minute because I'm following the instructions exactly here uh, but after that we'll be right back I'll mix in the sauce I'll stir it and we'll do the taste test so I'm going to go cook this uh, but for you it'll just be a quick cut all right here we are after cooking and let's go ahead and I I mean I already looked at it but yeah taking the thing all the way off which is a little harder now that it's hot uh, but I will say if you guys noticed this uh, napkin that's because I filled the thing up to the fill line I thought I got it pretty exact maybe I guess a little high uh, yeah um, though there was like a water residue around the the edge there um, I wiped it off in the microwave I don't want to get the castle dirty so I just put it on this towel here now I do want to say yeah that glue does not leave the most appetizing look around the edge so yeah this uh, edge here, ooh, still hot uh, this edge here that's gl the glue from the packaging and the noodle water yeah doesn't look the most appetizing it's totally fine but yeah that's just glue hmm maybe if I took the lid completely I don't know uh, but yeah it did microwave over the edge a little bit and yeah that was a little bit I, I, I don't know I didn't like that so I'm thinking next time I might try to go a little bit below the fill line I, I don't know so a appearances aside because yeah post microwave this glue just that looks pretty nasty yeah I, I see why they have suggested plating like take it out of here if you're gonna serve it to someone else and put it in a bowl so they don't see this microwave glue mess yeah all right got the sauce packet let's open it up a little a little tight come on there we go and flip it over get all the sauce another thing I was thinking is it said some water is okay I was wondering if this was gonna be a case where it would be much more soupy but despite overflowing so I, I really don't know what happened there that caused that most of the water does appear to actually be gone so okay so there's the sauce packet and let's give it a stir try to incorporate the sauce into the entirety of the noodles and get that color change from just the regular noodle color into this slight brownish color now I don't know if you guys can see too well the water at the bottom is only like half a centimeter maybe so it really isn't much water now personally you know like I said I'm a bigger fan of ramen I do love me a soup with a good broth so the fact that this doesn't have as much broth again chow mein typically doesn't but the fact that this doesn't will be kind of a downside for me but then again this is chow mein this isn't ramen but anyway yeah I should have showed you guys earlier this does have a few little vegetables in it if I can get the vegetable without there we go so yeah a few 
little veggies in there so it's not just the noodles and the sauce and the noodles are a little thicker than your standard ramen too anyway let's try to swirl up a fork and yeah, hey got a pretty good fork first oh no it all fell off all right there is the first bite and go ahead and eat it mmm yeah Mm. Oh, yeah, that is pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks better than the gluey plate. W Ew. <laughs> it looks better than the gluey plate would suggest. Um, yeah, it's got kind of a, a rich flavor behind it, and the noodles being thicker do make it feel like you're eating something much bigger and more satisfying. Uh, so, yeah definitely tastes pretty good yeah it's a shame about the presentation uh, but yeah it is pretty good uh, a thick noodle a good thick sauce lots and lots of flavor so yeah may not taste exactly like restaurant chow mein which I think is even a little drier uh, but still I think a pretty good noodle mmm Mm. Yeah, that's what doesn't lie. Mm. Okay, so yeah, definitely would recommend it. It's a shame about the whole bubbling over thing and the appearance of the glue. Um, but still, a good noodle nonetheless. Anyway, if you guys want to see more, I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. Uh, this should be my food playlist where you can see me cover Nissen's uh, Super Meal. But anyway, to everyone who's watched so far... Thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave that relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Have a good day now.